Hello everyone, my name is Sam Nilsson and in this video I want to show you the new IK constraints feature that we've implemented in Spine. Now this is not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial since the feature isn't fully completed yet, but it should still be good enough for you to actually start animating with it. Now if I go into animate mode here, you can see I've already created a very simple animation of a couple of uh, bones rotating and bending here. Go back into setup mode and let's say I want to control these bones uh, with the new IK constraint instead. First thing I'm going to do is select the root, create a new null, and then select the two bones, click the constraints node, then click new IK constraints, select the null, and I'm just going to call it constraint. Now if I move this around, the bones will now use that as uh, to solve the IK. This means I can uh, move both the root bone here and the tip. So now if I go back into animate mode and I hit play, it's no longer uh, evaluating the FK positions. And this is because the uh, weight, um, or the mix down here, is at 100, which means that it's being controlled entirely by the IK. As you can see, the percentage of influence the IK constraint has on the FK pose. I'm just going to move this all the way down to zero and set a key here. So now you can see, if I hit play again, that I am back to the uh, FK animation. Now I'm going to click the visibility dot here and we can see what is going on underneath. So if I move this here, see the IK. Uh, evaluated position here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to frame 10 here, I'm going to set a, another key, then go to frame 30, I'm going to drag the mix all the way up to 100 and then set a key again. Now if I scrub the timeline, you can see as soon as I get to uh, frame 10 and I start scrubbing further, see there's a new line being created here. Um, this is the evaluated position uh, from uh, FK to IK uh, based on the uh, mix weight. And if I go all the way up to frame 30, see now the line is actually right on top of the IK and this is actually taking uh, over completely. So if I hide this again and play back, see now it starts with the FK and then as it hits frame 30 it is now fully controlled by the IK instead. So I'm just going to open up a scene that I've worked on a little bit more and show you what you can actually do with this. And in this uh, project here I have four IK chains in total. I have first chain here which is being controlled by uh, this constraint here. So if I move this around you can see that it's bending the leg. And then I have another one down here these two bones that are being controlled by this constraint. If I move this around, it is lifting the entire foot, but also bending the leg because the constraint here is parented to this constraint here. And this means I can rotate this and I'll get a nice bending effect. Go into animate mode, hit play, you can see I have a nice walking raptor here without any uh, of the feet going through the floor and go back to setup mode. I can do things like uh, rotate the, the hip here and move it down and go back into animate mode and still the feet are exactly where I want them to be. I'm just gonna rotate this back into position and raise it a bit and come back into setup. And you can see maybe it's raised a little, little too much now. So. But this was just a very short video to show you what you can do with it. We'll have a much more detailed video coming out as soon as we're uh, fully done with the feature. So until next time, bye for now.